We found Tom Milker here at the COP here in Paris. Um, so Tom, um, what is it like for you to be here in Paris at the United Nations Conference? Well, I've been to several, going back to 2003 when I attended the COP9 in Milan when I was the Environment Minister in Quebec. And I know that it's extraordinarily important that we finally start getting the job done. Uh, Canadians have had promises and undertakings from the governments for years. They're quite disappointed, though, when they see that uh, it's never there when the time comes. So we're hoping that the change of tone on the part of this new government is also going to be followed by a change concretely in the plan, in the targets, and in the timeline. That's, that remains to be seen. As far as for you personally, what does climate action mean for you? And why is it important to you? Well, I guess now that I'm a grandfather, I take this literally when we talk about future generations, but it's just that. We know what a catastrophic effect an increase in temperature above 2 degrees centigrade will have. Uh, Canada has to do its part. We haven't been doing our part so far. Canadians voted for change. Well, now that includes change with regard to the climate. How are we going to act differently? What are we going to do to actually reduce greenhouse gases? That's the real challenge. Is Canada going to, yes or no, reduce its greenhouse gas emissions? Everything else is, unfortunately, just hot air. That's great. Paul, thank you so much for joining us at the David Suzuki Foundation. Good to see you. Yeah, good luck this week. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Take care. Yeah, thank you.